Hello! So first order of business, I have a head wound. Whoever can come up with the best story for how I got my head wound gets one Cheeto. Second order of business, my game thingy. So throughout my public schooling career, I have had to take lots of standardized tests, and I tend to finish standardized tests early, so I've needed some way to keep myself entertained with just a pencil and a piece of paper. So I came up with this game. Okay, so here's how the game works. The object of the game is to draw as many lines as possible, but there's two catches. The first rule is that with every line you draw, you have to make at least one triangle. And the second rule is that your line can't make a shape with more than three sides. So obviously these rules don't apply to the first two moves, because you can't make a triangle with just two lines. So a game might go like this. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now here I'm kind of stuck, and we could ignore that part. So my score would be eleven. Actually, turns out my score is 10, because this last move violates rule 2 by making a pentagon, which has more than three sides. But I was taking an AP test this last week, and I finished it, and so I started playing this game like I always do, and I solved the game. I solved it two different ways. Like, there are two different ways that you can get a score of infinity on this game. So, pause the video now if you want to try and figure out how to solve the game on your own. If not, I'll just tell you right now. So here's one solution to the game. And you can see I could just keep going like this, making an infinite number of triangles. And then the other way is like this. And it's the same deal. You could keep going like this forever, and you're not breaking either of the two rules, but you're getting a score of infinity both times. So remember how if you come up with the best story for how I got my head wound, you, you'll get a Cheeto? You can also get a Cheeto if you either come up with one, Another game that involves just one person and a pencil and a piece of paper that I can play after I finish tests. Or two, more rules to my game that I already had that make it so you can't solve it. And so it's still a fun game that you can try and get a high score at. So yeah, I've got Cheetos, you've got answers. Marcus, I will see you tomorrow.